thank you very much for your time. Mike, just looking at your results, verbiage is certainly uh, an improvement in the second half on the first half, but it's still tough out there. And uh, of course, the caution coming into play with regards to um, not paying a dividend at this period, although you have said that you are likely to be in a position to pay a, a dividend again in the first half of 2021. Just give me an overview of the results. Yeah, thanks, Bonwin. I think you, you did a good overview yourself. It was clearly an extraordinarily difficult year for, for everybody all over the world. Um, difficult from a health and society point of view, but if you want to put it in statistics, it was a one in 100 year economic event with the biggest downturn in GDP since World War II. And if we look back at Nedbank, you know, H1 and in particular Q2 was the peak volatility in financial markets on the one hand and the most judgment that was required to be executed in providing for impairments on the other hand as we were in these very high levels of, of lockdown. So for us looking backwards, I think it's really pleasing to see that we had a better H2 than, than H1. If I look back on the provisions that we raised in H1 and had to do it all over again, we'd be pretty much bang on the same number. So we think we got that right. And you know what was particularly pleasing was both to end the year with higher capital levels than June and higher liquidity levels than either June or December the year before, even pre-COVID, but also to see the great job that was done on helping clients and customers. 120 billion rand of cash flow relief was provided by Nedbank during the year. And by the time we got to outstanding and only 2 billion for retail clients with the balance being wholesale clients that we expect to roll off in the first half of this year. Mike Brown, thank you very much. As always, Mike Brown is the CEO of Nedbank.